I haven't really received any advice at all. Have you got any for me? <laughs> it's her coming into the rehearsal room and she like had her stuff. I don't know if she had like a pack lunch or something, her bags, and she was coming in, she was telling some story about what had happened to her that day or some that she was a very funny story about her past. And and it was just like this ball of energy and charisma and just like a lack of self-consciousness, you know, which I, I assumed would come with anyone who was that big of a star. That's my first memory. I'm trying to remember the first time I met Florence. One fun fact is that Florence and I went to the same elementary school, the same primary school we call it in England. Um, maybe a decade apart, but uh, it's a very tiny school in Spain, Sotte Grande. She, she was very involved, but also let us do our own thing. I think one of the main things I took away from her really is just what a good person she is. She's a genuinely caring, compassionate, open individual. She's just perfectly charming. Harry Pearson manages to do the, it, what's really, sometimes you get people who are great at plot story and some people are great at character and some people are great at comedy and he does all three all at the same time in a blink of an eye. He, he's one of the most extraordinary writers that I've had a chance to work with. Ultimately, people just want to watch Bright. They go watch a documentary or something on him. You know, I, I think what the, the point of making a drama is to get to know Barack, get to see the cracks and, you know, get, get to see the clay feet of our gods, so to speak. And and so it, it's it's challenging. And it's but, but I've got such great play partners that, you know, I don't know. I'm just having the best time with it. I'm really enjoying it. I actually remember shooting the last day with Scarlett on the first block and uh and she turned to me and goes well see you for reshoots in January and and I was like well what do you mean but obviously she's done it so many times she knows that one way or another there's going to be reshoots in a few months time so I had kind of like prepared for it and then so then I get a call from my agent saying yep they're going to do some reshoots and you know then trying to figure out the flights from you know Toronto to to LA and length of beard and all that kind of stuff. Mason's hair is shorter than um, than Luke's hair, and when both of them are longer than Barack's hair, so um, so yeah, there's beardage to be able to figure out the those the intricacies of filmmaking. Well, look, crispy seaweed is a go-to snack of mine. I mean, the, it's the worst thing about film sets, though. There's so much sugary goodness and it's hard to avoid. One thing's for sure. I'm done running from my past.